So we have another Wonka or, or Willy Wonka or, or Charlie in the Chocolate Factory movie. Is it any good? Does it hold up to the original or does that even matter? Let's talk about it. My name is Brandon Keith Avery and this is just my opinion. <laughs> Hey, what's going on, everyone? And welcome back to another episode of Just My Opinion for my Wonka review. And if this is your first time finding me, and you happen to like this video, please give me a thumbs up and consider subscribing. All right, now that we're talking about Wonka, I was looking forward to this film. And just like everybody else, I love the original film, Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory that came out in 1971. One of my favorite movies of all time, and rest in peace, Gene Wilder, rest in peace. Now, I did not see the Johnny Depp, Willy Wonka movie that came out a number of years ago, directed by Tim Burton, I believe. If you have seen that film, let me know in the comments section. But if I have to be honest, when it comes to this new film right here, starring Mr. Timothy Chalamet, I didn't get excited just when I originally saw the trailers. I was like, okay, we're getting another Wonka movie. It could be good. It could be bad. But I just didn't really care too much until right before I saw the film. Now, this film is being directed by Mr. Paul King. And this is what the gentleman looks like right here. And if we scroll down and look at his filmography, he did Outsiders Space Force, which is two TV series, which I have not seen. However, he did Paddington 1 and 2 that came out in 2014 and 17. Now, let me make the screen a bit bigger for what I'm about to say. Guys, this is no exaggeration. This is no hyperbole whatsoever. Paddington 1 and 2 are literally two of the best movies I've ever seen in my entire life. They make it on some of my favorite movies of all time and the best movies of all time. I am serious. And I went into those movies originally in 2014 blind, not knowing what I was going to get. But man, I remember the first five minutes after I was watching the first Paddington, I was like, man, this film is great. I'm having so much fun. And it is getting better and better and better and better and better. Yes, Paddington, the film is about the little bear these films are amazing. If you have not seen them, put them on the list. There is going to be a Paddington 3 coming out next year, the year after that, or pretty soon. And this is a true contender for one of the best trilogies of all time. And I know you're saying to yourself, B, what the hell are you talking about? A little childish movie about a stuffed bear that comes to life? Yes, I am dead ass serious. Real talk. This is up there with the first three Toy Story films. This is up there with the Lord of the Rings trilogy. This is up there with the original Star Wars trilogy. And there is maybe another trilogy in there too, if you want to consider the best of. Also, the Spider-Verse films, one and two, and hopefully part three can come through and deliver as well. But guys, Paddington one and two is off the damn chain. I am not lying to you. So I'm really glad to see that Mr. Paul King is responsible for these films because he's a hell of a director. He is a hell of a director. But like I was saying, my expectations for this Wonka movie were mid to mile. There were a few stars in this film that we're gonna be talking about when I get into the review that popped up that I do like and I am a fan of, but I just can't say that I was super duper excited. They were mild to mid. So before I get into all the nitty gritty, before I talk about all my likes and dislikes, let me tell you exactly what this Wonka movie is all about. With dreams of opening a shop in a city renowned for its chocolate, a young and poor Willy Wonka discovers that the industry is run by a cartel of greedy chocolatiers. All right, guys, the first thing I want to talk about in this review is that this film is a mood booster. If you were having a bad or crappy day, by the time you walk out of this film, you're going to be having a good day. If you was going in having a good day, by the time you walk out, you're going to be having a great day. If you was already having a great day and it was fantastic, by the time you walk out of this movie, you are going to be flying in the cloud saying this is one of the best feelings I've ever had. This film, again, is a mood booster. It will make you feel better. It will lighten the mood. It is just fantastic all the way across the board. All of the energy that director Paul King put into the Paddington films, making it fun, friendly, and magical is in this film too. I find it dang near impossible for you not to at least have a great time while you're watching this movie. 
Next thing is, who is this film for? Is it for children only and adults will fall asleep and be able to get some nap time? Sure, if you're tired, you can go to sleep if you want to. But I find that hard to believe because you're going to be having such a great time because this film is not just for kids. It's for adults. It's light, it's calm and fun for children, but it is also for adults as well with a lot of humor, sarcasm, and things that only adults will enjoy themselves. Kind of like the Toy Story films, those are for children and adults. All parties involved and in between will have a good time watching this movie, laughing out loud, you're going to have a great time. And you start to feel that way as soon as the opening credits reveal themselves at the very beginning. You just know you're gonna have a great time. It's bright, it's colorful, there is magic everywhere in the air. You are gonna be singing and dancing and that's how everything starts off as it introduces you to the character of Willy Wonka, titled Wonka in this film, played by Timothy Chalamet. Now, this is an origin story to the character. When we got the original Willy Wonka in the Chocolate Factory decades ago, Willy Wonka is a grown man. He's older and he's looking for someone to take over his factory. He's trying to retire. But you may be saying to yourself, man, this is a nice business that he has here, filled with so much wonderful things. How do things start off? That is exactly what this Wonka film is. So it's not necessarily a repeat or anything like that. This is a prequel film, an origin film, and I think that's exactly what the doctor ordered. Now, of course, this movie would not work at all, even if it had the best story, the best wardrobe, the best makeup, the best whatever, if the titular character themselves was not phenomenal. And I'm so glad to say that the titular character in this movie, Wonka, is freaking fantastic, played by Timothy Chalamet. I am not too familiar with this gentleman. He only really popped up on my radar when you look at Doom Part 1 and Part 2 that will be coming out sometime next year. But if we look down at his filmography as well, he was in Intergalactic, Bones, and all... The French Dispatch, Don't Look Up, which is a great film as well. But my goodness gracious, Timothy Chalamet stole this role. Fantastic. Pretty much everybody did a great job in this film, but by far he did the best. He had the energy. He had the passion. There's nothing that you won't like about this character. He is also a mood booster as well. No matter what situation that he is in, he always tries to find the positive outcome of it. And there's barely any times in this film where he didn't have an optimistic perspective. And that's the type of people that you want to be around. His personality in this film is very charming and it's infectious. When he's around you, he's going to make you feel better. He's going to put a smile on your face. Whatever kind of day you had, he's going to flip it upside down in a positive way. And it just kind of makes you feel all warm and fuzzy on the inside. I love this dancing. I love this singing. I'm not sure if he was actually singing the songs himself in this film or it was just good lip reading. But I was sold. I was convinced and I enjoyed every aspect of him. I mean, seriously, he's going to lift your spirits when he's singing. I don't remember the words, but he's just going to be like... That's how I was in this movie, seriously, going back and forth in my seat. I was doing exactly that other than snapping my fingers because I didn't want to annoy the people around me. But it was just those good feeling vibes that came from his character, and I so it all up when I was watching this film. And guys, he is not the only standout in this film. I don't know who this young lady is right here by the name of Kayla Lane, but oh my gosh, she was dang nerd just as good as him. She was adorable. She was sweet. My goodness gracious, I loved everything about this young lady. I don't know what it was about her. I don't know exactly how old she is, but she was just freaking adorable, sweet, and she was also very resourceful when opportunities presented themselves. She kind of had a crappy life, but still tried to look at the bright side of things, and you can do nothing but respect that. Again, she was very resourceful, always trying to lend a helping hand or try to solve a problem as well. The way that she communicated was a breath of fresh air too, and she was very mature for her age as well. I don't know how old her character was, but she was very mature and had a positive outlook on life and her head on her shoulders the correct way. I loved her. I don't know 
who this lady is. When I looked at her filmography, I am not familiar with any of these films. But again, she was a highlight in this film, and it would not have been as good if it was not for her character and all of her involvement. And those are two of the best characters, but pretty much everybody was fantastic as well. We have Olivia Coleman. Last time I've seen her was earlier this year in the horrible dumpster fire, crap in the bed mess, Disney Plus series, Secret Invasion. I really was disappointed with that. She did great in that. She did a great job in this film too as the villain. And we also have Patterson Joseph. I'm not too familiar with him either, but these two characters were great villains. Even though they were the bad guys, even though their characters were nefarious, there was still something appealing to them that I liked when they were acting all goofy and silly fulfilling their roles. Fantastic across the board. We also have Keegan-Michael Key in this film as well. He did a great job, and there was also a few brief cameos of Rowan Atkinson, a.k.a. Mr. Bean. Man, I still have those VHS tapes. He's funny in this film. Not as funny as Mr. Bean because he has dialogue, and I appreciate more of his comedy when he's silent. But it was very, very nice when he popped up in this film. Everybody in the audience was cheering when he appeared, and that was just another delight that you can add to this feature. Another thing that I liked about this is the adventure aspect. And there's not just one, there are multiple. Wonka is put in a predicament early on, and you're kind of just saying to yourself, okay, how are you going to get out of this situation? And the way that he's telling his stories and where he comes from with the illustrations and all of the set design around him really does draw you in and wants you to be part of the team that he's on as he's trying to get through all of this mayhem and sell chocolate to the people. That happened more than once in this film, like I said, and each adventure gets more fun as the film progresses on. I also like the way that the camera was moving around, pacing, going up and down, left, right, in and out, across. There were a number of long takes, especially when characters are in the air with all of the magic filling their bones and they're flying around. I love that. It's just another way to help you escape for a couple of hours while you're in the theater and really does feel like you're in a different land that you're not used to every day. And that's always a great thing. That's the point of going to the movies to escape. And the camera work was able to help bring that to life. And we can't forget about the Oompa Loompas. The main one in this film was played by Hugh Grant and he was hilarious. I love the introduction of the Oompa Loompa and Wonka in this film, the way they got along. The Oompa Loompas are not just some small creatures that are disposable. I mean, they're actually people that they have their own origin story as well. And the film did dive in that too. And I did appreciate it. I don't want to go this far right now to say I want this, but if they were to have just a strictly Oompa Loompa movie, with them on their island and where they come from and what they're passionate about, I think I'd be interested in it just from Hugh Grant's portrayal in this film. He did a great job with everybody else. Everybody did a fantastic job in this film, from the main characters, the secondary characters, to the extras, to everyone. Everybody put all of their energy into this, and you can tell easily while you're watching this. It's fun, it's friendly, it's smart, it's cute, it's energetic and it is also uplifting. This film will motivate you to never give up if you have something that you're passionate about and you want to achieve a goal. That is one of the main plot points in this movie to where you're driven and you're passionate about something to go after it and not give up and always look at the brighter side of things. I always look at things as the glass is half full. I took a lot away from this film and I loved it. There's really nothing to complain about at all. Even going back to the main character, Wonka, there was barely anything that could bring his spirits down other than literally the world around him coming down, falling, crashing, and burning. He always had a positive outlook on life. And that is what really fueled this film to make it as good as it was. If you was already interested in this film, man, you're in for a treat. And if you had no interest, please consider my review. It's really, really good. I don't even want to compare it to the original because this is a prequel and this just kind of seems silly and out of place. But man, I had a good time watching this movie. I'll go ahead and give my rating for this at the very end. But for now, guys, that is just my opinion. And I want to thank you so much for tuning in. If you did enjoy this review, please go ahead and give me the thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and help me reach that next milestone of 50,000 subscribers. But guys, if I had to rate Wonka out of a 1 out of 10, 
I will give this film a solid nine, almost a 9.5, but I'm going to stick at a solid nine out of 10. Yes, a nine out of 10. Director Paul King, you should be very, very proud of yourself, sir. But guys, again, I just want to thank you so much for tuning in. And before you go, don't forget that my name is Brandon Keith Avery, and that's just my opinion. Peace.